Right then golfers, so hitting the ground before the golf ball, something that's very, very, very common. Um, I see this continuously um, in sessions with people. Um, I do sympathize greatly with people that hit the ground before the golf ball. Not too bad on the range, not too bad on the mats, but when you get out on the golf course, the ground's a little bit soft. Hitting the ground before the golf ball is catastrophic. Let's give you some ideas as to how you fix it. Right, so the first drill, or the first idea I've got for the people who are struggling with hitting the ground before the golf ball, is just very, very simple. I've just got three uh, aluminous orange tees that don't need to be aluminous orange for this to work. Um, but I've just got them out on the ground there, uh, probably maybe it's about a foot or so in front of the golf ball. Doesn't have to be overly precise, but around about a foot in front of the ball. And the idea behind this drill, I just want people to feel as though they're going to be hitting the tees. So it's sort of like an external stimulus <clears throat> this is going to stimulate to want to move forward and to interact with the ground later. Um, try it maybe a couple of times without the ball. Um, you probably will actually hit the tees. And then reintroduce the ball uh, once you've had two or three practice goes. Um, see what happens. Now, most people find that they actually can't hit the tees to start with. But then eventually, they'll actually be able to hit the tees. <clears throat> or one of them, and we get that ball and turf interaction that we're looking for. If you're not hitting those tees that are about a foot or so in front of the ball, it's quite likely that you're going to be hitting the ground before the golf ball. So it's just a visual stimulus, just something nice and simple. Try that one first, see how that works out for you. So we have a drill to try and encourage um, more of a ball than turf interaction uh, contact, but I'm now going to discuss one of the main problems that I see um, for golfers who are hitting the ground before the golf ball, uh, one of the main causes is where they find they're applying pressure into the ground or where they've got their weight distributed. And a lot of club golfers that hit the floor before the golf ball, I see them moving into the back foot. They tend to get their center of mass above their back foot. and They're actually applying pressure into the ground underneath their right foot. And I'm going to use this drill to try and help you prevent that from happening. Just having your feet together, something really, really simple. Uh, if you were to shift your center of mass to the right, you would find that you're going to lose balance. So keeping the center of mass above the center of your feet will prevent that swaying to the right, which as I say, it tends to cause or help cause early interaction with the ground. So just try hitting a few shots with your feet completely together. Again, a really, really simple drill, not very difficult to do. Or should I rephrase that? <laughs> easy as a concept, not that easy to do when you're actually hitting your shots. But it really does restrict your weight movement, so you can't move too much weight to the right during your backswing, which will then tend to cause you to hit the ground early. You keep your weight centered above your feet, which will then allow or make it more likely that you can hit the ball first and then the ground afterwards. And this third part of the video is more, more about a feeling, really. Um, we've got the T drill, which is great for hitting hitting balls at the range or the practice ground. Um, we've got the second drill with the feet together to help people who move or shift too much pressure or weight into the back foot in the backswing. That's fantastic. This third one, um, this is gonna help people out there who maybe have a slight issue with the swing sequence. Um, I do see a lot of people whose arms fall across the body quite early in the downswing, which is basically presenting the golf club to the ground too early. Ideally, we'd like to see this lead arm <coughs> stay up against the chest and stay behind the rotation of the body. And that's going to encourage 
later interaction with the ground. So this very, very simple drill or exercise is basically gripping the golf club with just your left hand. <clears throat> and you might want to grip down the club a little bit just to take a little bit of the weight of the club out of the equation. And we're going to take the right hand and we're just going to slot it underneath the top part of the left arm. And that's going to apply a force both back away from the target and upwards towards your head. We'll swing back as normal. And then this right hand is going to be pressing your arm against your chest and away from the target. And that's going to prevent the arm from actually falling down across the chest. Like I said earlier, presenting the club to the ground too early. So it's just getting the feelings to what it's like for that arm to stay up, almost pinned up against the upper part of your chest, up towards your neck. And what it's like for it to stay there for a little bit longer in the downswing. Beauty of this one, it can be performed at home quite easily. So with those three drills and exercises, well, nobody should be hitting the ground before the ball, but I know there'll still be some people out there possibly doing other things wrong, um, maybe for a future video. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments box below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks a lot.